So I'm thinking about the um, the work priorities for uh, Handy Andy, and what I'm thinking about doing is I'll leave you on hauling for a bit because that needs to be caught up on definitely. But afterwards, I think you're gonna work toward becoming primary cook, who helps out with the growing, and then cleans. And then stuff will be more construction and mining. Interesting. Peace talk. Um, maybe. Down the line, perhaps bourbon. Although you're pretty much just research. The research doctor who maybe sometimes helps out with cooking. And if we could somehow, somehow, get you, you'd be the hunter who helps out, bleh, helps out with cooking. So, I don't really have a crafter or artist yet. Or, well, at all. And as far as these peace talks go, uh, our social skills fucking awful, so... Sadly, we won't be able to do it. But it's right there. Uh, but it would probably, um, as it said, low negotiate speed to do more harm than good. Really? Three days? Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Even with the road three, three days. Unless this is counting the way back as well. Probably not, though. Huh. Well, that's an interesting thing. I could haul these rocks out of here again. Oh, here we go. Haul those out of there, but in the morning I'll have you force haul the hops to try to save what we can. 11, 4, 11, 13, 14, 14, 8, 4, 6, 13. Okay, yeah. So anywhere between like 4 and 20. Not good. Going for some wooden wall somewhere. I think we'll just line up up here and just jump out and get you. Will never see me coming. Okay. Yeah. Should be a fairly easy combat. We have clubs, they just have the bow. Their melee is only four. Oh, okay, they're dead. Mm, just... Just straight up kind of killed them. They just, they, they got bludgeoned to death. <laughs> the, the killing blow was an, a hit in the arm, apparently. All right, well, there's a good short bow for uh, Handy Andy, I think. Yeah. And uh, strip the corpse. Eat the meal. Eight without table, but I think it'll be okay. You need to get joy after this. Andy, Andy, haul the club. When you're done with that. All the travel wear, and then we'll bury this person. Good enough. Bourbon, doing okay? Malnutrition. Stev, what are you working on? Still hauling this stuff, yeah. You're, uh, working through joy, I know. I'll sort that with... There. Problem solved. Mad animal. Local boomalope. Oh god. 
That's really fortunate that we have a bow now. Instead of cloud watching, where you sh should be okay. Where'd that boom blow come from? Way up there? All right. It'll be meat, which speaking of, the cooler is minus three, minus four. And it's 31 outside. So both coolers working together, we can maintain minus three. This guy's busting its ass trying to hit 200 watts, or trying to hit minus nine. That'll never happen though. If we set your bolt to minus three. I don't know. We'll set your bolt. Ah, fuck it. We'll just go back to minus four, minus eight, how about whatever. That'll be fine. Don't know if you've got a really good chance to hit this guy. God damn, he's gonna take fucking forever. Here, yeah, just go rest. <laughs> Sleep off the bruises. Stev, you get your joy finally? Yeah. Get you back on a normal schedule. chance. So bad. Tending to Handy Andy. Thought I'll have to wait. We got the boom up here. I'll let you keep doing your thing, I think. Or have you help haul some of this corn? How about that? God, there's so much of it. Most of these are like pretty full stacks. I think that'll be most of it. And then that club. Jeez. Because boom lobes are super slow. 1.94 for me though. Ugh. It's actually faster than Handy Andy because of that fucking food poisoning. Shit. How long is that lasting? We don't know. Damn. Maybe you can get a lucky uh, like leg shot or something on it. Slow it down a little more. I mean, your chance to hit is probably just awful. Actually, 55. There you go. Right in the right leg. 1.72 now. Compared to 1.94. Awesome. Good hit. And scoop back. Got him in just in the general body. Let's cut him to the left here. Watch out for Stev. This is the slowest chase ever. Oh my god. I have to kite for so long to get enough distance to line up a shot. Maybe it'll bleed out before I can line up another shot. I, I don't know. It's like a shift click movement. That's really good. Take a few more shots. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good shit. Going to rest. You don't do firefighting? No. All right. Um. Work on the fire the best you can. Try to beat it back. Uh. Yeah. That's why I held open the door. Because if the fire spreads through here, it's going to be a problem. Rain's coming. Good, good, good. And the boom blow, of course, burned itself out. Shame, shame. What? Jesus, notice blight. You should cut or burn the blighted crops before the blight spreads. Oh. Oh, and because development mode, I can force spread it. Interesting. 
Huh. Well, I'll take that. Can I just... No. Okay. We'll select the blooded crops. I like this a lot more than them just all of a sudden just like, oh no, everything's dead all of a sudden. I hope sickness works in a similar way too. Yeah, right down here. About the break. Yeah. Uh, you're still considered naked. We're not apparel. Lay without a table in darkness. Awful prison cell. Imprisoned. Ugly environment. Naked. Hungry. Okay. So let's. Couple things here. One. They are fine. You don't need medicine. But sure, take care of them real quick. Okay. The travel wear. Let's deliver some food. And handy Andy. Come down here real quick. Force wear the travel wear. Come in here. Drop the travel wear. Forbid the travel wear. And now wear normal stuff. Probably the pants too. Okay. Now, all the simple meal. And need it at a table. Okay. Okay. I could get you a light, I suppose. Torch lamp? Let's get a torch lamp in there, how about? Because power is already straight of the problem here. We only got positive 50 watts right now. It's already cutting pretty dang close. Especially if I get a third cooler up, I'm going to have a problem. Oh, females get a soothe. Rats bourbon. Although you're not a colonist, technically, but it still counts for you. M maybe. Wait, you're psychically deaf, aren't you? God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, what? Did we get that corpse buried, by the way? Yeah, we did. Going for a walk, yeah. Let's also, because god damn it's bothering me, get some concrete flooring going here. We'll go two by two tiles. Or, well, just two tile thickness. Whatever, you know what I mean. And... The cool thing about this is I can tile over the marshy soil. I just can't build any like, you know, thick structures on it or whatever. I was thinking about having you go down, but yeah, you don't really need to. I lose some of my hops here, but oh well. Okay, you know what? I will. Why not? That way I got it. Chop whatever wood you can that's in the way. And then I want to check that blight, see how much longer I've got. Uh, 63%. Okay, we gotta do this, like, now. It's already kind of spreading a little bit, it looks like. Right. Uh, they yeah, just cut. Don't harvest. Shift click. Yeah, 
at. It spreads kind of fast, actually. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Wrong one. Yeah, these just these guys just got it too. Go, go, go. Okay. That's a slight problem. I think we got it all. I think we got it all. Now would be really cool is if that wasn't a random event and that was actually like, yeah, there's secret blight that's actually here and it depends on your grower skill to notice it. That'd be good. Because otherwise it's still just blight for the sake of blight. And while it's a little more reasonable and believable, still not quite super awesome great. Stev cooking. Yeah, all right, cook a little bit, but don't cook forever. I think I'm still set for that. Don't do not do that. Uh, do until you have. Maintain. Yeah, that's fine. 10. Unpause it like 2 when we start getting real low. Because we got to get that torch done. We got to get a table in there, I guess. Not a whole lot else I can do for you, though. I mean, yeah, I can clean it, too. There's that. Tempting to recruit real quick, clean first. There we go. It's a little nicer in here, right? <laughs> sort of. They're still about to fucking break. Damn. 1.2. Alright, get that torch lamp done. There you go. No longer in darkness. If I were to... Can you eat at the end table? Worth checking. If not, that's fine. That's still bees or something else. Next we deliver a meal. I'll uh, try to keep an eye on that. Two point two. Yeah, no. All right. Fair enough. We'll build another little table for you then. Twenty-eight, fifteen. We'll just say thirty and uh, thirteen. It's forty-three. That'll work. Three chairs. That way you should be able to blueprint all of this with just one stack of wood. You only grabbed 50 though. Hmm. Reinstall. There you go. He's done. He's, he's good and set for now. He can need it at a table at least. And that gets him a little more room beauty and all that. Still awful and impoverished, average sized, ugly and dirty. <laughs> Andy, Andy, you've done a pretty good job with the uh, the hauling. I think I'm going to put you on. Let's see here. Help out with the cooking first off. Stev will do it if he's got really nothing else to do. And then 
row and plant cut. And then clean, then haul. So hauling is going to be behind again. I'll just have to manually queue up hauling for a bit. Which is okay. And we can hunt. I don't need to. I mean, fine meals would be awesome, but nobody can do fine meals. So there's no, uh, no reason to do that yet. This guy's gonna just explode and burn and ruin shit, isn't it? Actually... If I bring the floor up... That I could just avoid the crops entirely. Can't decide how important this road is right now or not. Because, like, on one hand, it's just a road type thing. I mean, who, who really cares? But on the other hand, uh, this biome, it's so slow moving anywhere. There's just, there's so much crap and trees everywhere and the road will help just make sure an area is locked down, you know? I don't know. I mean, the only other thing to really do is mine up some, uh, some steel and components and all that because I need another cooler here and... Might, might need one down in this area too. Well, I'll definitely need one come uh, spring and summer. I mean, there's that, there's more power generation to build, some more batteries to maybe do, speaking of which. Okay, two days, nine hours. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Repairing the wooden wall. Finish these guys real quick. Hey, it died. Okay. Can one guy stop it in time? Nope. Handy Andy has just been inspired. She'll work 2.5 times faster for the next 24 hours. Uh, awesome. Okay. I don't know how, but okay. okay. Try to try. God damn it! <laughs> yeah, he, he's out of here. Fuck. All right. I really wish you would help firefight and stuff. Keep it away from the freezer, please. Try to just kill time until maybe we get rain. Uh. Mm. Need to maybe hold open this door real quick. Shit, man. Game, can I have some rain? That's not rain. This is going all wrong in like the dumbest ways possible. <laughs> Which is sort of fair enough. I mean, when this when this build is officially released, I'm pretty sure this save is fucked anyway. Uh, cause it tends not to be compatible. Good God. <laughs> Please rain. Ah. Uh, well, shit. <laughs> Andy, Andy, you're gonna want to get out of there. Yeah. I was. I think I'm just gonna let this end. Um, that was that. That was pretty quick. <laughs> that was pretty quick. So, I guess I'll, uh, next up, you know, I think, 
I might wait until the development build's done with first, because, um, again, when it updates to the official Alpha 18s, like, fully out on Steam and everything, the save probably won't be compatible anyway, so... It was kind of over one way or another at some point, but... It, man, I'm kind of upset at how this is ending, to be honest. This is stupid. <laughs> but oh well. That's uh, how it goes sometimes, just really bad luck, and I don't know why he escaped. Like, can you just sneak out when the door was open, or is these prison break events silent now? Don't know. Um, next up though, I think... I don't know, instead of doing starting with nothing, I'm thinking maybe doing the random scenario thing. I think that could be a, a lot of fun. And just set the uh, planet killer weapon to go off in like a hundred days or something. Well, maybe not that long. Because I, I do want them to be somewhat bite size. Because uh, either we do well or we don't do well. It doesn't take long to find out. So, 15 days per season. So, one year would be what? 65? 15, 30, 45, 60 days for one year. So, if we planet killer weapon for 60 days, that'll be one year in game. Which, um, which is a surprisingly decent amount of time, so I might do that. It's planet killer, like, you know, 65 days. If we can make it that long, given the random ass start that we had, then I'll consider that a win. Otherwise, we'll more likely lose straight away. But if I end up getting a scenario that's, like, really, really cool through that, then maybe that'll be a new playthrough type thing. Uh, I don't know. A raid. They're preparing for a while, then attacking. It's uh, one person with the uh, Steel Iqua, or Iqua, or Iqua, or something. You're also pretty fucking good with it. Jeez. That is, that is really scary. Because it's steel, and good, and they're good with it. Bam. That alone could potentially take me out, but this fire is still raging on. Uh... No, no sign of rain. Still totally, completely clear. I'm just kind of letting this whole thing burn out. Handy, handy. You're about to get smushed. In fact, can we move meals to... I don't know, just over here. Get rid of the stockpile. Haul them quick. Get out of there. Yeah, no surprise. And they're beginning their assault. Work frenzy is over, which is a shame. That would have been really good for just get a shitload of plant cutting done. You're gonna be here in probably the morning. Hey, rainy thunderstorm! Finally, okay. We have a bed and a battery. Let's just, for funsies, it's still over, don't get me wrong. I'm still ending it, but let's just see. Okay. God, you're so slow. An escape pod. Oh, and basically out in the ocean. Baron's a bodyguard. Brawler, bloodlust, chemical interest. Okay, we're about to get a cool weapon for you if we can do this. There you go. Good shot. Damn, okay, so that was actually pretty easy. I like the... Uh, I don't know what you call that. Just the shit that just gets caught in the wind when it burns off. It's a nice touch. Oi. Okay, well, we'll do it again. I mean, this is a kind of a quick look at this biome. Uh, you can see it's it's difficult. I mean, there's so much wood. You have, you basically have infinite wood. Um, 
You can see where the marshes were that I couldn't build on, though you can floor up over it. So there is that, but I'm pretty sure... Let's just real quick here, just for the sake of having it done. I'm curious. Can I floor over it and then build on top of it? Yes. Okay, so that makes it a bit easier. So what you'd be doing then is probably just concreting as much as you can early on. Or, well, probably would floor more likely. Just everywhere, it would look kind of ugly because, uh, but yeah. Hmm. Not very good for a village type build, but if you're going for a giant complex type thing, I mean, there you go. Because then you can do basically whatever you want with it. Just build off and, you know, this turns into a hallway. We'll throw some, um, some bedrooms up in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That's the end of the hallway. You, you get the idea. That's that's sort of how you'd have to handle this biome, I think. Especially in the uh, cold bog, because it gets quite cold and it's like this. Um, not quite so many trees, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, that, that gets pretty terrible, too. All right, well... I'll end it. Um, I mean, damn, I could rebuild, but fuck it. <laughs> I do not mind throwing in the towel when stuff like this happens. Because, uh, as I said in the other, uh, in one of the more recent playthroughs, the, it's never really ever truly over. The game usually cuts you just enough slack that you can maybe possibly recover if you try hard enough. And I tend to just be like, nah, it's, that, that's OK. I'm all right. Too much of a pain in the ass trying to restart completely it's it'd be several hours in some cases just to get back to where we were and that's just a lot of wasted recording time a lot of wasted video so i'll just i lost <laughs>